Ron and Jill Plush would give anything to have their 16-year-old son Kyle back. He would have been a senior this year. It's still hard to believe that it happened. It's still hard to believe that this is our lives. Weeks after Kyle died, waiting for help to come when he became pinned under a seat in his minivan, the Plush family went before city council looking for answers and wanting to help fix the 911 system that failed their son. We need to follow through and do what we say we are going to do. But after a year and a half of meetings, talking with city leaders, and wanting a complete understanding of how Kyle died and what exactly failed so it doesn't happen again, Ron and Jill tell me they're fed up. There were assurances given to us that these things were going to happen and they didn't happen. So if we're going to put an action plan together and we're going to attach dates and we're going to say this is going to be done by the end of summer and it's not, that is a problem. In a lawsuit filed today in Hamilton County, the plushes are suing the city of Cincinnati, former city manager Harry Black, the two 911 call takers, and both Cincinnati police officers who responded and failed to find Kyle's van. Their biggest issue is that after two investigations, the 911 call takers, dispatchers, and officers involved refused to be re-interviewed. Why would that be? so important. Why do you want them to be re-interviewed? We emphasized in the early stages the importance of getting to the root cause, asking the five whys, being transparent, because what our objective was is to make sure that this does not happen to another family. The city really, they're making all these changes, but their changes really don't have any credibility unless they actually figure out what went wrong that day, because they can spend a lot of money and make a lot of changes, but if they're not making the right changes, then they're not fixing the problem. Ron and Jill say no amount of money will ever make what happened to their son less painful. They say it's not about the money. It's about making sure there's not another Kyle. Things need to change. What happened to Kyle, we can't change that, but we can change the future and make sure that it never happens again. Ron and Jill launched the Kyle Plush Answer the Call Foundation one year ago. In that time, organizers have visited 60 call centers in six states. The goal is to raise awareness and help better inform dispatchers and call takers so this never happens again.